ways of thinking, but you're also, ooh, did you guys see that? Did you guys see that? I am offering a sale still on all my readings. They're all half off right now. I extended the sale because a lot of you were asking about it and a lot of you wanted to partake in it. Um, I also wanted to do this around Christmas time because I know you could buy your loved ones a gift in the material realm, but in the spiritual realm, it's so much more meaningful like to gift someone a reading that will actually benefit them, that they get to keep forever because you get to keep the link for life to refer back to. And my readings are so encoded with high frequency, knowledge, wisdom, and advice, and they're also timeless. Each time you listen to them, you'll receive new codes, different messages. They're freaking phenomenal. So I have that offering on all my readings, my courses, my timeless reading, song albums, my meditations, you know, gift your loved ones something actually meaningful this season. Treat yourselves as well, because I probably won't be running a sale like this for a very long time. Half off is unheard of these days. So yeah, definitely take advantage. You can find my Etsy shop link down below in the description box, also pinned in the comments. What we got coming through. Some of you could be auditioning for something having to do with the passion here. Or you feel like, okay, some of you divine feminines feel like you're like in this audition and like energy that I'm picking up just for some of you, not all of you, but some of you feel like you're in an audition and that your judge is your is your twin. You're like you're like I'm putting it on all on the line here. I'm putting it all on the line. So I'm getting something risky that has definitely led you to feel frustrated in the past. But this is some sort of um the energy is new, not the person. I'm not getting this as a new person. I'm getting the energy is new. However, that coincides. Okay. Yeah. It's like you have this perspective of like wanting to be absolutely perfect for this person. Let me just give you a tidbit of, of what did I almost just say? <laughs> Let me get you a little piece of advice. If this person didn't like you, they wouldn't even entertain you. So you're like trying to be this reward for this person and being very over analytical in the mind. Like you're all in the upside down right now. I'm getting, if you watch Stranger Things, like you're in the upside down. You're, you're in Divine Feminines. You're in that portal, or this could be Divine Masculines for some of you. You're in that portal of the headspace where everything's flipped upside down. You don't know down from up, up from right, or you do, and you just know that you're in the upside down because you're viewing things from the opposite of what they actually are. Yeah, it's like, so the devil is tempting you here with these lower ways of thinking, but you're also, ooh, did you guys see that? Did you guys see that? You're also um, exploring some things too within this realm of flipping the perspective. Seeing things like a different way than you had in the past. So you're like willing to adventure into this realm because you know there is some sort of reward waiting as long as you trust yourself. I'm also getting the competition card here. Illusion. You are supported. Yeah, I'm getting, okay, so some of you could very well be like trying out for something, auditioning for something. And I, like I'm saying, the other parts, the other section of you, group of you, could be um, small group of you message coming through, is you feel like you're an audition for, in an audition for this person. Like you don't want to miss this opportunity. You only get one chance to blow. This opportunity comes in a lifetime. M and M coming through, okay, but um, wow. So yeah, that would make sense. Okay, so if this person, the center of the mindset is you know twin flame, the message coming through is that you do not want to lose this person. You only get one chance 
this opportunity comes once in a lifetime. You got to lose yourself in the moment, the moment you want. Lose yourself in the music, the moment you want it. You better never let it go. You only get one shot. Yeah, so it's like you're risking it all. You're playing a, a hand of poker and you're risking it all. It's like you're gambling here. Is okay. Some of okay, so some of you could have gambling issues, but I feel like no. This is pertaining to the love here, yeah. So some of you feel like you're gambling when it comes to this person, like it's risky or risque. Or risk just a it's a very stressful energy that I'm picking up on. Your motivation is definitely in the right place, though. It's not manipulative. Your your motivation here is love under the hope in the reverse, okay? And you're understanding this love and this passion that you have for this person, Divine Feminines, okay? Uh, the masculine is being over analytical in the mind as well. Divine masculine is being over analytical. So this is the energy that I'm getting for you, Divine Femmes. Let's pull for Divine Masculines. Where are they in their headspace? So you feel like you're in, on an auditioning show. Like, I have to put on my best face, my best outfit, my best, my best speech, my best thoughts, my best etiquette, per se. My best performance, yet you're not acting. You're being truthful. You're being authentic here. And you just feel this pressure to be like... No, I don't even say something that you're not because you're definitely being authentic. You just feel like you have to like impress this person through your authenticity, but in a way that you've never felt you've had to before. Interesting for some of you, not all of you. Okay, masculine. Passion in the reverse. This is interesting. So this was the first card to come out for the feminines, except um, or one of the first cards, except it was in the upright now for the divine masculine, it's in the reverse. Why is this sacrifice? Sacrifice towards fulfillment in the reverse. Tradition. I'm getting something with a work, something with work here. Um, looking for fulfillment when it comes to work because they want to be able to support you or support something that is an illusion, meaning like I'm getting that. The illusion is that they're overanalyzing in their mind to get to you. They would have to have like the perfect job or make enough money to impress you. Something here with competing with that, though that can be true. Like I'm not getting that. I'm not getting that that's what this. Yeah, they only have you on their mind. I literally went to that card randomly the empress so they want to be able to support you they feel like they can't but that's an illusion because they feel like they have more than enough means and not even means uh, monetarily but like mindfully soulfully emotionally i feel like they feel like they couldn't add up to impress you so so funny you're auditioning for this person and this person already holds you up on a pedestal so it's like, what are you even auditioning for? When this person's already like viewing you as the star, why do you have to audition then? If you're already the star, why are you auditioning at all? Like this person already knows that you're the star. I think spirit thinks it's funny that you're auditioning. Divine feminines. Okay. So there's something that they're keeping private that was the bottom of the deck. I didn't show you because I'm just going <laughs> way too fast. Something. Okay. This person feels like something's going way too fast. And they, they can't slow it down. They don't know how to slow it down. They don't know what to do. They, they can't help the way they feel for you. This is bringing a whole lot of indecisiveness. I'm getting because the indecision is there because this person could either already be in a relationship that they're not happy in with somebody else or there's something around their work here. They're looking to build something with you. The church bells are going. I just heard the church bells. Love, church bells, wedding, engagement, something there, matrimony, and the job. So the matrimony and the job go hand in hand, they're saying. The reason this person's indecisive is because, like, yes, they're very protective of you. They don't want to disappoint you. And it's so funny. You, you two are absolutely perfect for each other. 
going to take courage. Okay, because you two are absolutely perfect for each other. The way your codes, your energies, your thoughts, your telepathy, like the connection is so utterly perfect. Literally, it's perfect. This connection is so cheesy and dreamy that it would make anyone who's in a karmic situation just want to hurl all over the place. This is just how magical it is. The romantic. I can't make it up. 911 just now on the clock, and I just saw that today on my coffee pot. I knew I had to film. I was like, ah, I don't know if I'm going to film today. No, I knew I had to film because the spirits and the messages are just coming through so strong. And this is where spirit's leading you both because the messages and the way that spirit is like pushing you two together, it's just like, it's so strong. And then it's like, you guys go back to your analytical minds and like try to push it away. But each time you do, it just like brings you closer. And you're, at, you're both like, there's no way out. Like, I don't know what to do. Because you both could be in these different, like, predicaments that are kind of tricky. And you don't know, like, which way to go or how to get out of it. And you both have been also going through transformations. <laughs> Hasn't everybody? Yeah, the challenges. Yeah, 10 on 1, which is 11, which is the twin flame number. You get rid of the zeros in between them. If you get rid of the space in between, which doesn't actually exist with it being zeros, 10, 0, 1, 11, twin flame. Once you see through the illusions, you understand that you're already there. You're already connected. So the things that seem impossible to overcome, 10, 23, my mom's birth time or rebirth. You're protected. Yeah. So the things that seem difficult to overcome or you feel like you wouldn't be protected, it's all illusion. It's a test to see how far you'll push it, see how far you'll go to get together in the physical, which you technically already are in the spiritual. But it needs to match. And that's why match, flame, candle, match, lighting it up. The, the universe is just magnetizing you two together. Like no matter what you do, no matter what you try, no matter what you think. Because it's destiny. It's fate. That's what I'm getting. Change your attitudes on some things. There's some things you're not seeing right. And you need to change your attitude. And about your work life as well. And about moving as well. So that's where I'm going to end the reading. I just wanted to mention there is luck on your side. And make sure to like this video. Subscribe. Leave me a comment letting me know how it resonated for you all. I love to hear from you. Thank you so much again. And until next time, boys and girls, I'll talk to you soon. Bye now.